Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so this reading is going to be for a specific sign. We're going to find out what that sign is together, okay? But um, before we get into that, I kept picking up something about like someone getting burned. Like somebody got burned, okay? Um, this could be someone who was... Um, refusing to heed some sort of warning okay somebody touched the stove when it was hot and they were warned not to do it but they did it anyway this could have been someone here who was listening to their ego okay or they were refusing to let something go let someone go and now they got to face the consequences okay something here about oregano is of significance as well maybe some of you need to work with oregano um, eat oregano, um, what's up with it, let me figure this out, I can't, I'm, I'm channeling a lot of food, something about food, maybe this is a sign for you guys to heal through food, It says oregano contains chemicals that might help reduce cough. It says oregano also might help with digestion and with fighting against some bacteria and viruses. It says people use oregano for wound healing, parasite infections, and many other conditions. But there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. Okay. I don't know. Maybe somebody here refused to let you go like a parasite. This is someone here who was sucking off of you energetically or something here, or it doesn't have to be energetically. This could be just someone here who was using you, someone here who was using you financially even, okay? Um, or, or using you socially, okay? In order to advance in some way, this person is going to be cut off, all right? I just looked at my um, my moon uh, little tracker thing, and it's the full moon right now, technically, at least where I'm at, so... And I'm filming this. This is on the Sunday, the 24th. All right. It's at the moon is at 99% full. Okay. But the full moon is tomorrow on Monday. Okay. So something is going to be happening on Monday for some of you. You might find out some information on Monday. Let's find out who this freaking sign is for. Or this reading is for. Listen, the last reading I just did, I had a bunch of interruptions. <sighs> I hope the video don't look all choppy. It probably gonna look all choppy and shit. Okay, let's figure out. <laughs> let's figure out who this is for. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what zodiac sign is this for? I hope you guys are doing okay as well. I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What are they, who is this for? We have Leo. I've already done Leo. You guys could be dealing with the Leo or you could have Leo somewhere in your chart. Or there's something here that's going to be getting exposed. Somebody or something is going to be getting exposed. Something is going to be revealed, okay? We have Capricorn. Somebody here could be dealing with the Capricorn or they could have Capricorn somewhere in their chart. Or you do. We got Cancer. Someone here could be Cancer. You could have Cancer somewhere in your chart or you're dealing with one. Did I do Cancer? Come on now. Nah. Stupid phone. <laughs> um, I don't think I did. Did I? I don't think I did. Cancer? Cancer, this is you. I already did Leo. I already did Caps. Cancer, right? I already did Aries, Scorpio, Virgis, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagers. Libra, Gemini, yeah, Cancer, this is you, okay, Cancer, you can have Cancer anywhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node, place it where I need to go, or you'd be cross-watching for a Cancer, all right, what else is going on for my Cancers, all right, we have Libra, you guys can be dealing with the Libra, you could have Libra somewhere in your chart, something here is going to be put, um, imbalance for you something is going to be restored 
peace is going to be restored. We have Scorpio. Someone here could be a Scorpio. You guys could be dealing with a Scorpio, okay? There's some sort of secret here that's being revealed. Whatever that's been hidden, it's getting revealed. Something here about a, how something ended or how someone's life ended, that's also going to be revealed. Something is going to be rediscovered. Something is going to be reopened, okay? Um, I'm also getting like... Um, there's something here about revisiting the past or there's something here about like past memories that are going on here cancer for you okay there could be something here going on with your family as well okay either your immediate family or your own family like that you have we have Taurus someone here could be a Taurus or they could have Taurus somewhere in your chart that you're dealing with and then we have Gemini so someone here might come in and communicate something to you about some sort of resources okay that was left to you or that is owed to you is due to you someone here could be obsessed with your finances as well or what you, or the things that you possess or the things that you have oh my god i feel like this music is loud okay um we have gemini here oh i already said that okay so someone here is going to communicate something to you i feel like this is going to be somebody here in the court of law or someone here who's like a law official this could be a lawyer a judge um Something about a court office, a, a, a courthouse. I don't know. You guys might get info, a letter from this type of institution. All right. Or, or you're going to be receiving some sort of information that is going to bring you a piece, the peace of mind that you deserve. Okay. Or that is owed to you or something. I don't know. Okay. We have Aries. Someone here could be an Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries or someone who has Aries somewhere in their chart. I'm also getting like somebody here knows they have to make something right. Okay. This could just be someone simply coming in and having um, a heart to heart conversation with you. All right, Cancer. Because they know it's the right thing to do. Someone's hoping when they come to you, like, you're going to have your arms open wide to them or something. I don't know. I don't feel like this is, like, someone that you would want to greet that way, okay? Cancer, I don't know why I keep feeling like someone keeps criticizing how you look. Okay. Um, like this is like a hater. Someone keeps criticizing on like what you look like, what you wear. Okay, or this could be you. Maybe you're doing this to yourself. I don't know. Flip it where it needs to go. But someone here is like mad. Like whenever they talk about you or whenever you come up in conversation, like this person just keeps talking about like what you look like. Like, oh, well, she put her hair like this and or he, he, he wore these types of shoes. Like da 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 da. I don't know. Something dumb. Holy Spirit, what's going on? We have destiny, okay? Something is fated to happen for you. The will is definitely in your favor, okay? You, your destiny is yours. What's yours is yours. What's meant for you is meant for you. So I also feel like a cycle here is closing, all right? You guys could be seeing 1010 a lot. Someone here can be born in October, don't have to be. Um, we have awareness, okay? Listen, y'all, this is beautiful. Someone's aware of your destiny or where you're where you're headed. Someone is aware of where you're headed. Okay? You could be manifesting something or you're being asked to really focus your energy on manifesting what you truly want out of life. Okay? You guys could be seeing 222 two, two a lot. You guys could be seeing 111 one, one as well. Okay? But I feel like there's a lot of twos going on. Um there could be a choice here that you're going to have to make soon or a decision. And you have to make this decision from your heart space. 101. So there's something here about learning the basics when it comes to something. Or someone here didn't learn the basics. Or they didn't have like the fundamental knowledge to something. I don't know. We have shadow here though. All right, and then we have obstacles and challenges here, and then we have the universe, so that's a lot of cards. A cycle definitely is ending. It's wrapping up. 
the divine is stepping in is intervening when it comes to someone over here in their shadow trying to create obstacles and challenges for you when it comes to you fulfilling your destiny the divine is no longer allowing this person to to play in your fucking energy this is someone here who is doing some sort of dark shit this is someone here that could have been jealous of you or envious of you okay this is someone here that could be holding on to a grudge wanting revenge okay this could be a capricorn for some of you not all y'all a virgo a gemini um a taurus aquarius scorpio leo okay that you're dealing with somebody's jealous because there's somebody from your past that sees you as someone who's very abundant very prosperous and they want to heal something with you someone's mad because someone has feelings for you or they see you in a in a positive light this is someone here um that wants to disrupt this i'm also getting like somebody here is going to be receiving a tower moment because you are gonna because you are either going to be receiving some sort of abundance or you already are an abundant like energy it says i am a limitless being and i can manifest whatever i desire in this physical reality there's something here about empathy there's something here about the power of empathy the power of um putting your um feet in, in somebody else's shoes to like um understand emotionally or uh, to understand like what someone has gone through okay um your biggest power is your empathy okay your ability to empathize with others your ability to um have compassion for other people this is why you're experiencing this abundance okay or this is why you're you are going to be um you're calling this in or you're gravitating this type of energy to you because this the type of attitude you have the type of heart that you have i'm also getting at one point in time somebody here was able to use your ability to be empathetic um against you they used to someone here had the ability to turn it against you to use it against you okay whoever i'm speaking to you you've learned how to fucking turn that into your superpower okay something like that okay tower moment for someone this is a tower moment for someone somebody's mama or baby mama could be attacking you that's another thing that i'm getting as well with this uh empress and the devil card together they don't have to be though okay let me see what's going on for my cancies Someone really is aware, someone's very much, okay, this is another thing that I'm getting cancer. Someone is very much aware that you have done the much needed child healing and shadow work here. Because whatever they are trying to do now, whatever tactic they're trying to do, whatever dark energy they're trying to send you, they're realizing it's not working because you did this inner work. And that's why something's getting wrapped up. That's also why you're being protected from some sort of obstacles and challenges someone keeps throwing at you, okay? For whoever I'm speaking to, you're fully in your destiny. That's for some of you, not all y'all, or you're on your freaking way, child, okay? Something about the basics. Something about someone, someone forgot the number one rule or something. Why do we have a destiny? And they done fucked up. What do we got destiny here, Jared? Someone here was materialistic. They were greedy. They were possessive. Okay. This person was very much disloyal to you and they're jealous. They're stubborn and they're ungrounded. So there you have a, this could be a king of coins. So you could have a Taurus, um, Virgo Capricorn that is upset with you because you're in your North node or you're following your destiny or whatever is destined for you is coming or because you're about to experience some sort of favor over your life this person is very much upset they wanted to have your destiny okay they wanted this ten of coins that you're gonna you're about to receive okay damn baby who the fuck am i speaking to okay um you're gonna be experiencing some sort of like wealth abundance some of you could be buying a house maybe some this is over a home maybe um you and another person were in the running of uh, putting in offers on a home. You're going to be the one that gets it. Okay, someone here was this person. This other person could be upset about it. I don't know. Who knows what's going on? 
Okay, I'm also getting this could have been someone here who was trying to like get everyone to like um, look at you negatively and that didn't that fell through. So this person's mad about that too. I'm also getting like too that like this could be someone who wanted to hold on to you. Like this is someone here that refused to let you go. They didn't, this could be like an, an ex lover. Like this could be someone here that never wanted you to get back into another relationship with anyone. Um, they wanted to possess you. But the thing is, like, when it comes to you fulfilling your destiny, that this person does not belong there. So it's like, I don't know. So, something something is going on. What do we have awareness? We got four of wands. Someone's aware that you're going to be celebrating some sort of union you're about to get into. Or you might be getting married or, or something about a wedding party. I'm not sure. Someone knows you're you're you are manifesting a loving relationship here and they don't want this. I'm also getting like you could be manifesting someone from your past back to you. I don't know. For some of you this this is I don't know. Who knows? Or someone's manifesting you. I don't know. What to do. Okay. Tell me more about we have shadow. Or someone's using magic so that you can come back to them. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Something's going to be happening in the next three to four weeks. Let me stop making those faces, okay? We have gaining wisdom. You're going to be gaining wisdom here about something. In the next three to four weeks, about what, spirit? Okay, listen. <sighs> Someone here could be sad about the idea of you getting into a new relationship. Okay. I'm also getting if you allow this greedy, possessive person, this jealous, stubborn man to come, or woman to come back into your life, this person is just going to leave you in grief and sadness and loss. Okay? Or this person just wants to give you more emotional baggage or something. That's where some of you not all y'all or this person that's there could you could have a an ex coming back from the past that still hasn't like resolved some sort of like baggage that they got they want to just come to you and give it to you like someone wants you to make them somebody wants you to help them do their shadow work or something that's for some of you not all y'all but it's like that's not your burden to bear yeah someone here was being self-serving okay Someone here missed an opportunity by being self-serving, all right? This person now could be bored with their life because any obstacle and challenge they try to send your way doesn't work. This person could be depressed, okay? I'm also getting like someone feels rejected by you or someone's trying to find a way to challenge your decision when it comes to re rejecting them. What do we have universe? Someone's materialistic. You guys could be dealing with someone who only cares about, like, what they look like, what they have. This is someone here who could be dealing with an addiction or something. This could be someone who's very imbalanced. They're very empty inside. Someone here keeps it, keeps running away from themselves, all right? This person could be drinking a lot with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Um, or it's smoking a lot or whatever they be doing. Okay. I'm also getting like somebody here could have wanted you to get back into this type of um, energy. So if you're someone who um, is a recovering uh, addict or alcoholic or whatever, this person wants you to, they were wanting you to get back into this energy, but that cycle is closed, okay? I'm also getting like someone wanted to keep you stuck in that type of cycle so that they can get, it could give them more time to make a decision on you or it will give them more time to avoid some sort of inner work or avoid some sort of karma that that um, they're gonna face or something. Why do we have temptation? I'm not... something about the full moon. 
one month or next full moon, which is coming up. It says emotional awareness, climax, move on, cycle completion. So there's a cycle here that's completing when it comes to this temptation or this devil-like energy. Whoever was jealous, whoever was uh, sexually attracted to you or lustful or whatever, or I don't know. This person's got to go. All right. Things are being balanced into your life. You're no longer allowing this person to juggle your heart or juggle your emotions. Okay, this is someone here that you could have been on and off with, back and forth. All right, with the two of, two of coins here. I'm also getting like, someone might find out that someone here was cheating on them. Okay, we have Ace of Swords. Someone here was lying. Because this is the Ace of Swords in reverse. It says a lack of ideas. Someone doesn't know what to do no more. They're blocked. You block them. I'm also getting like you could be moving in silence. So like this person does not know what you got going on and they're trying to figure that out. Someone here could have given or fed someone some sort of misinformation about you. It could have clouded their judgment. Okay. And now they could be hostile or someone lied to them about you and it made them hostile towards you. But it was all based off lies. Okay. That's for some of you, not all y'all. This could have been someone here who was a queen of wands in reverse. This could have been um, a... A Jezebel spirit or something someone here who's who um, wants to have power and control over people using their sexual energy okay that's for some of you not all y'all this person could be a Leo don't have to be this is my way or the highway all right this person is someone who could be very pessimistic very demanding okay very tem temperamental Jeez Louise who out here being wild Who's this? Someone throwing stuff at them. Someone wants to come in and offer you something, either money or stability or something. This could be a friend of yours, an acquaintance or a coworker that might want to come in and offer you something. This is a, this could be a temptation. I heard a quote the other day. I forget how it goes, but it's like, they said, it says, It says when you get to the top that's the perfect time when the devil will appear when you're at your highest moment or your highest point or something and then it says something about but when you're at your lowest the devil's already there so there's something here about uh certain stages in your life there's somebody here from your past when you were in your lowest that wants to come back but this person is literally the devil or something. I don't know. Tell me more. Ooh. We have fleeting. This this is the person that doesn't know whether they love you or hate you, admire you or despise you. We have twin flame. This could be your own damn twin flame. Okay, that was throwing darts at you. It was lying to you. That was juggling you. Not, not ever giving you a decision on whether they want to commit to you or not. This person could be drinking. This person could be sad. This person could be upset with themselves because they took more than what was owed to them. This also could be someone who's fucking miserable and they want you to be miserable. This is so gross. This could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with or someone who has Saggy somewhere in their chart or you you do. Flip it where it needs to go, okay? We have Scorpio. Someone here could be a Scorpio or they could have Scorpio somewhere in their chart. I'm also getting like somebody here did not do something wise. There was, they, Someone did something unwise. We have Capricorn. This could have been a Capricorn that did something unwise, okay? Or someone here has been obsessing with... with um, Trying to get you to be overwhelmed or trying to get you to be Im imbalanced, okay? Or to have other people um, have their judgment of you be clouded. We have soulmate, okay? This could be a friend, family member, ex-lover, blah, 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 blah. Somebody you once thought was a soulmate, okay? This person might, whoever they are, whether it was a friend, coworker, blah, 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 blah. This person wants to come in and act like they want to be your friend or they want to come in and act like they want to be on your side or whatever okay cancer what's not meant to be in your life is being released okay 
Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my Cancers? What do they need to hear regarding this? Someone here is receiving bad karma for all the things that they have done to you, said about you, all that jazz. Someone here might be experiencing some sort of endings in their life because of what they've done. Tell me more, Spirit, what's going on with my Cancers? What do they need to hear? You could be unbothered by this, okay? <laughs> or maybe someone's bad karma is that you remain unbothered by whatever they got going on. Maybe someone's hoping that you will care or have compassion for them because of what they're going through. Someone here is stalking you. Someone here could be getting bad karma for stalking you or invading your your boundaries, okay? Maybe even like spiritually, maybe someone here has been stalking you through divination, scrying, getting readings, all that jazz. Um, astral traveling, okay? They could be receiving bad karma for that. Maybe somebody was warned not to not to dive into your energy not to cross your boundaries energetically and this person is now realizing that they got burnt or something someone keeps watching you dude we got no facts never has the facts make shit up lies so someone here is always lying whoever the stalker is all they do is lie tell me more we have wasting time this person's stuck their karma is that they're going to be stuck and all they're all they're left to do is watch you Okay. They have, no matter what they try to do, their life doesn't change. Okay, But that's because they were trying to hold you back. They are trying to keep you stuck. This person's hooked on you. Okay, They can't keep their eyes off of you. They can't let you go. We have creativity. It says steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off you. So someone here is stalking you and they're also trying to steal some sort of ideas. So something about the word ideas. Someone here, I don't know, maybe they're lacking cre credibility or not credibility, creativity, maybe both. Shit. Um, and someone's looking at you for inspiration or something. It says someone who's stalking you. The hell? Stalking, watching, obsessed, steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off you. You're like somebody's like source of inspiration, but it's like creepy, whatever this is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how else to explain it. We have into you. It says good chemistry, great vibes, positive. Someone is very. Someone here could be saying. Someone could be, this could be someone here who goes around acting like they're someone who spreads positivity or um, they tell people, oh, I want good vibes only. But this is the person, the same person like makes up shit all the time or is a pathological liar or, or someone here could be telling someone that they're into someone and they're not or something. I don't know. Or, or they're saying that they're not into someone, but they are. We have wolf, wolf in sheep's clothing. Okay, we have girl fights. We have an offer. Okay, so you got a, a stalker here that wants to offer you something. Hell no. Nah. Maybe this person might ask you to go out and get like some coffee or something. We have girl fight says arguments, physical fight, at war, competing. So you have someone here who's competing with you. This could be another feminine energy. If I'm speaking to a divine feminine, don't have to be though. This could be um, just a, a man in feminine energy that wants to fight with you, argue with you, be at war with you, compete with you. It makes them more mad because, like, you're you're unbothered. Like, no matter what they try to do to compete with you, you just, you don't care. Okay? Enough is enough, child. <sighs> Wolf in sheep's clothing. Bad karma. Tell me more. Yeah, you're very much unfazed. I, can, I, I feel like you should continue being this way. You're very much unfazed by the fact that somebody here wants to come in and say that Either that they're not interested in you, you're unfazed by it. Or if someone's going around saying, like, um, they are into you. I don't know. You just don't care, whatever it is. We have, we have dodging bullets. It says blocking negativity, escaping crazy people. You are protected by haters. Okay, so you are being protected from these people. We have car, uh, carless, no car repo, car issues. Someone here could be experiencing some sort of car issues. Maybe they're having trouble moving forward moving on from you this could be someone here who's having problems overcoming some sort of obstacles and challenges that they're dealing with and they're hoping if they come to you you'll help solve some problem for them or someone here could literally be having issues with their car okay
Losing my religion. I also feel like someone here could be losing their religion or their beliefs or faith. This is a drama starter. Someone here could have been trying to start drama with you because they didn't like how unbothered you were. Like someone here saw your unbotheredness as a challenge. They're like, oh, they think they're so unbothered. Watch this. I'm going to do X, Y, and Z to, to, the, to cancer and we'll see what see what they do then. <laughs> Some dumb shit. Tell me more. Yeah, you could be moving in silence and this stalker is like obsessed. Uh, I'm also getting since you are moving in silence, somebody feels like they need to take more action other than just stalking you because somebody here needs to know more information about you. Don't know why. Tell me more. We have ain't shit. So somebody here ain't shit. That's why you, you're you not phased by somebody here. Someone here could be lying on you. You could be hearing, you know, getting word or getting wind of these lies. And you just don't give a fuck. Okay? You could just be um, self-reflecting, going within, maintaining your inner peace. Okay? And not giving a shit. Good. You should. Who's this person wants, who wants to come in and offer them something, spirit? This stalker. Who's this stalker? This is someone here that you are distant from or you live at a distance from. This is someone here who wants to, ugh, they want to come in and nurture and support you. Okay, that's their whole situation. That's what they're going to come in acting like. They might even try to offer you money, okay, for something. Maybe they want to offer you to do some work for them. I don't know. We have Aquarius. Someone here could be an Aquarius here that's obsessed with you, that's stalking you, and wants to come in and offer you something in order to heal a situation. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a monkey. Note the date. This could be you or someone else that you're dealing with, okay? Um... There's something here about you fully healing about something from your past. Someone doesn't want you to fully heal a, um, something from your past or something that happened to your past, some sort of traumatic situation. They don't want you to fully heal from it, okay? Because if you do, that means something bad for them. Like, um, they will no longer be able to have access or do something to you. I don't know what this is. What do we have? Uh, who's this drama starter? So there's a feminine energy here that was a drama starter that you're dealing with. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a monkey, note the date, or this is you. Flip it where you need to go, okay? This person could be a cancer who is a drama starter, or cancer, someone here was trying to start drama with you. Flip it where it needs to go. Or you have another cancer out here that was starting drama. Or there was someone here that was trying to start drama with you so that you could be in your feelings or you can act out emotionally, okay? Or so that they could trigger you and you didn't do so and they're mad now, okay? Tell me more. What do we have, drama creator? Ooh, that scared me. We got dragon, okay? Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a dragon that was starting drama with you or flip it where it needs to go. This could have been someone here who was a friend, an acquaintance, or a coworker, or someone here who was working with your friend, your acquaintance, or your coworker to start drama with you. Damn, people suck. All right. <laughs> where? People suck. Maybe that's how you feel, Cancer. Maybe you feel like people people be sucking. <laughs> people just suck. Okay, maybe you could be wanting to spend some more time to yourself at this uh, right now or something. Or you need to keep things more to yourself, okay? Because people out here suck. <laughs> oh, my booty. Okay. What's going on with my Cancies? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my cancers? What do they need to hear at this time? What do my cancers need to hear at this time, Spirit? What do my cancers need to hear? We have Viral. It says, instant fame, going around quickly, gain, gaining popularity. So if you guys have a platform of any kind, or if you have a business where you have a product that you're about to launch, or... Um, a book you're about to release, a song you're about to release, um, I don't know, a movie, a film. I don't know what you got going on. Whatever it is, you're about to give birth to something, um, create something. It's about to go viral or it's about to fucking take off, okay? So you're going to shoot for the stars and the stars is where you're going to be, okay? That's for some of you, not all y'all. Tell me more what's going on. Or you could have a lot of eyes on you at this time, okay? If you have a platform. 
We have no chill. Someone here could be overreacting. They could be unable to tame their negative emotions or feelings about you gaining some sort of popularity or you experience some sort of instant fame or success or something here. Um, oh, Jesus. This, someone here has no fucking chill. I'm also getting like anytime someone sees you um, or sees your picture or anytime someone brings you up, this person loses their chill. They flip out. Other people are noticing this person. This person could flip out and start saying like random fucked up things about you that aren't true. And everybody else is looking at this person like, are you okay? Tell me more. We have salty. Yeah, this person's salty as hell. Salty. This person could be flipping you off, giving you the evil eye, all types of stuff. This person feels like they were wronged. I can't. This person who was doing fucked up things to you wants to feel like they're the victim. This person's fucking bitter. They're dramatic and they're jealous. That's sad. We have shook. Someone here is shook. Shooketh. Someone is shooketh. Okay. There's some sort of plot twist here that's going down. Some, there's going to be some sort of unexpected event, some sort of sudden change that's going to be occurring in your life. Okay, this person could be very freaking sad. We have heavy emotions, mental distress, low vibing. So this is a low vibing person who's sad because you're experiencing some sort of success in their life. This person could be comparing themselves to like your life to their life and it's like they feel like something's unfair. Okay, tell me more spirit what's going on. We have hung up. It says fixated, obsessive attachment, focusing in. So someone here who has no chill and is upset about your success in life or, where, or the healing that you have taken or your self-healing journey, whatever it is, you're doing well, whoever I'm speaking to. And someone here cannot take it. They cannot handle it. Okay, they're upset about it, but yet at the same time, they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop looking at you. It, it's, it's weird tell me more someone desires you for real the orange something about oranges something about the color orange something about the chakral chakra someone here wants to somebody here might want to have sex with you or something i don't know but they're jealous of you this is weird we have people pleaser it says over giving nice guy or girl syndrome doing anything and everything so there's someone here who could be jealous of you because you're no longer being a people pleaser or, or not jealous, angry. This person could be angry, bitter because you said no or you rejected them or you're no longer pleasing this person over your own well-being or something like that. I'm also getting like there could be a people pleaser person who overgives and they're salty about you because I don't know. Who fucking knows what's going on? Spirit, tell me more. What's happening? Or someone's expecting you to be a people pleaser. Come on now. We have leveling up. It says road to success, accomplishing goals, moving to the next level. So someone shook about you moving to the next level. Maybe someone was hoping that you were going to continue being a people pleaser. Okay. In order to like, I don't know. Someone didn't think you're going to step into your fucking power, basically cancer I'm also getting like someone here was trying to act like they were Mr. Nice Guy, Mr. Nice Girl and they're not okay I'm okay I'm seeing this two different ways someone here could have thought they could take advantage of you because they thought you were a people pleaser like you know you could be someone who is perceived as someone who's nice because you are nice, but I feel like when you set boundaries and you're like, no, and you have to be not necessarily mean, but not a, not pleasing someone, someone wants to villainize you, make you look like a bad person. I keep getting this energy, okay? And they're mad because you set boundaries and you're not being the same, I guess, doormat. Someone wanted you to be a doormat. They're mad because they can't walk over you anymore. All right. I'm also getting, though, on the flip side, on the flippity, I feel like there's someone here that was 
being like Mr. Nice Guy, like trying to be like nice and blah, 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 or she, flip it where it needs to go, but they didn't get their way with you, so now they're mad, okay? Listen, most Mr. Nice Guys are like covert narcissists, okay? Not all, but a lot of them. They love playing the victim. They love people giving them sympathy and feeling bad for them. Okay, this is, I don't know. Tell me more, Spirit, what's going on? This could be a man or a woman, Joe. We have quick getaway. It says the runner escaping, all right? You guys could have been dealing with someone who complains a lot. Like, all they do is whine or something. Maybe you got over it. I don't know. <sighs> the runner. You could be running away from this person. Or you could have escaped somebody here who was always putting you in a bad mood. Or you escaped from someone who was low vibing. Okay? We have tindering. Tindering. It says online dating, seeking love interest, meeting new people. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe somebody here is uh, dating around, okay? And all they do is talk about you to that other person. Jesus. I'm also getting, like, um, someone here could be fixated to find out, like, if you're tindering. Like, if you're out here dating other people. Like, someone's really focused on that for some reason. It, it's it, That's another thing that, like, pops this person's top. They really don't want you dating nobody else. This is someone here who's possessed, possessive over you or, or possessed. Shit, I don't know. We got long road. It says delays, trials, and tribulations taking the long way. So there's someone here that does not realize that Overgiving is just making more delays in your life. Either yours or someone else. There's something here about no longer overgiving to people that don't deserve the giveness that you're given. I guess. I don't know. Okay? Or someone here is expecting you to do anything and everything for them. But this person's only doing this because they want to create delays or challenges in your life. They want you to take the long road, but I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, I don't think you have. And I think that's why this is like something that's unexpected for this person. This person did not expect you to like not give to them. Listen, child, somebody wants to come in and have unprotected sex with you. This is someone here who wants to give you an STD. I'm also getting you might find out that someone was going around telling people that you get that you gave them an STD or something They were hoping that that would create some sort of delays for you It would stop people from wanting to date you or asking you out Maybe that was a way for someone to like, you know, have you be isolated from future partners But you persevered from all this bullshit I'm so tired of people really <laughs> Let's get all big Bertha so someone's losing their shit because they didn't get their way someone here could be throwing a tantrum all right cancer holy spirit holy angels what's going on with my cancies we have gullible someone's hoping that you're gullible they want you to be gullible okay or somebody here with gullible someone wants you to be gullible so that they could take they could suck off you again it says i need my fuel but I feel like you you have smartened up. You're not you're not as dumb as you were before. Tell me more. We have a cor corrupt organization. There could be a corrupt organization that's involved in this situation. Okay. I'm also getting someone might say that they had no knowledge of something when they agreed to do something or to team up with somebody or with an organization. Your mother knows something, whatever this is. Someone's mama be knowing. Mother knows. We have anger. Someone here is angry. Okay? Maybe someone's angry because they're claiming they got tricked. I don't know. Or somebody's angry because you're not gullible anymore. You're not gullible Gil. Okay? You're not gullible Gary anymore. Okay? <gasps> we have um this. Man, this keeps coming out. We got this. Negative person. 
somebody's mother knows that someone here is a negative person. Maybe your mother or someone's mother wanted someone to be with a negative person. Okay? On purpose? I don't know. We have waning crescent moon. Someone here is surrendering. Or you could have let something go. Or let someone go and this is why they're angry. Or someone got let go and they're angry. Maybe they didn't think that was going to be something that happened. That was going to happen. We have 777. You guys could be seeing this angel number. You guys have gone through a lot of spiritual growth by letting something go. It says what is good and what is... What, what the heck? What is bad is good and what is good is bad. So the truth is going to be revealed. Okay, someone was trying to paint you in a real fucked up light. Someone was trying to sell you out. Or someone is a sellout. We got cockroach. Someone here is trash. Somebody's mother knew about someone being trashy or someone being fucked up. We have stolen identity. Someone here could have stolen your identity. Somebody did you fucking dirty. Whoever I'm speaking to. Okay, we have credit score 600 to 700. This could be your credit score. Or somebody's angry because your reputation is intact. Okay, and you guys could be attracting a lot of um, like-minded individuals towards you. We got 1144. Someone's also angry about this. Someone's angry that you have some sort of support. Okay, they don't like this. They wanted to destroy your your fourth house. We have shh, down, love, down low love affair. So someone here could be on the DL. Someone here could be blaming their DL situation on on some sort of sexual um harm that they experienced when they were little i don't know who knows okay we have witness protection order order so some of you are going to be placed in this okay or someone here was trying to get placed in witness protection order by lying on you <sighs> flip it where it needs to go we have uh, sending in false reports or complaints on your business or your residence. So someone here was doing this. Either they were putting in false complaints on your residence in order for you to be kicked out of wherever you live. Or someone here could be trying to um, put in false complaints or reports on your business. Okay. In order for your business to be shut down or destroyed. Someone could have had help uh, doing this um, through some sort of organization. Some sort of church some sort of group okay this person was doing this because they wanted you to be broke or they wanted to break you down they wanted to destroy your confidence your self-esteem your faith okay but this person's gonna end up being broke okay holy spirit holy angels tell me more someone's first model or last name could start with an s this could be you or this person. We have watch your food or drinks around them. So watch your food and drinks around certain people at this time because there's a negative person that wants to get close to you. This person is energetically a cockroach to you. This is a very low vibing person. This is someone here who does a lot of low vibing shit and they don't care. This is dirty. This is a dirty ass person. Okay. Don't go have a meal. Don't share a meal with this person, please. We have new moon. Something about the new moon is significant. So we, we just at the full moon and now that they talk about the new moon. So something about the new moon is significant. Okay. Or someone's angry about what you have manifested for yourself. All right. Or what's soon to be manifested for you. Because like in the beginning of the reading for you, Cancer, we the first card out was destiny. So something here is fated to happen. I feel like there's somebody here who knows what is up for you in your near future. Somebody has maybe done some sort of reading on you or got... Um, they got some sort of some sort of information about what you what you are to receive in this lifetime because you have done the much needed work. Somebody mad about this? We have we solving crimes right here. Pay attention. There's an organization that's gonna get caught up for child harming, okay, or for um how could I say this? by trapping or taking in runaways and then exploiting them tell me more cruel intentions someone here is going to be getting exposed for cruel intentions this could be somebody's mother this could be a negative person connected to your mother this could be a mother and a daughter or a mother and a brother situation 
We have um, drama creators. Someone here definitely was creating drama for you because they were angry. We have one year. This is something that maybe someone did one year from now. Maybe someone was trying to accuse you of child harm. Maybe someone was trying to accuse you of being someone who was on the down low. Okay, I don't know. Tell me more. Something here about dirty money could be of significance. We have listen with your heart. You will understand. Let it break upon you like a wave upon the sand. Grandmother Willow, Pocahontas. Somebody here could be of Native American descent. Don't have to be. Um, or indigenous. Okay. Somebody's past dawn grandma is guiding and protecting you or something. Okay. Listen, I'm going to tell you this right now. If you guys have a past dawn grandmother that's on your mama's side, she's upset with your mama. If she was the one out here do, having cruel intentions for you. Something like that, child. She been, she's been she been protecting you because she witnessed what your mama did from the other side. She's protecting you. Okay? We have, I am already in a relationship. So someone here was creating drama telling people that you were already in a relationship or, I don't know, or saying that you were dealing with someone who was already in a relationship. We have Grand Theft Auto. Like someone could have been saying like you're a hussy, you're a, you're a homewrecker, or blase, blase. We have Grand Theft Auto. Okay, someone here was trying to steal something from you, steal your vehicle, do something with your vehicle, have your vehicle be re repossessed, have your vehicle be stolen, whatever it is. But it's going to be happening to them. I'm also getting if this is something that did happen to you, this person who stole it is going to be exposed. They're going to be caught. We have gnats. You guys could be seeing a lot, of, a lot of gnats lately. I know I have, okay? So someone here could be spiritually spying on you, okay? Trying to get a closer look on what you got going on because you were a little too quiet the way you be moving. But you need to keep it that way. We have codependent partners. So there's a codependent partner that will refuses to let you go. We have overlooked suspect. So someone here, this drama creator could have been overlooked. Someone, this, this drama creator is about to be looked at. Tell me more, spirit. Someone here could be getting investigated. We have, you're a rising phoenix. You're coming back with the vengeance, and they didn't expect that shit. Okay, maybe someone here was trying to keep you down uh, ever since last year, but you just kept on fucking rising. We have, I hate you because you're prettier than me, so someone here hates you because of the way you be looking, baby. I told you. Uh, there's somebody here that's constantly talking about the way you fucking look. This could be someone here who's jealous of the way you look. They feel like you're prettier or more handsome than them. So they, they take it upon themselves to make it a daily mission to talk shit about you, how you look to other people so they can feel better about how they feel about themselves. This is a very sad. It's a very sad. This is sad. We have 333. You guys could be seeing this number. It says you are coming into perfect alignment. Suffering is dissolving and you are choosing the best possible path for yourself. Okay. All these rumors and lies are going to be put down, shut down. Ooh, what was that? Hold on. Was that that? I don't know. It says you are stronger than you think. Or someone is realizing you're stronger than you think. Because someone really thought some sort of ru rumors and lies were going to, like, delay you. We have someone someone paid someone to watch you. Ay, ay, ay. This person could be stalking you, whoever was paid to watch you. This person might end up getting a charge, like a misdemeanor or something. Okay, or someone accused you of a, a, a crime that results in a misdemeanor or someone was trying to get you caught up. Okay, something here about midnight could be of significance. Someone had con uh, cruel intentions for you at midnight. We have unwritten law evolution. Nothing changes if nothing changes. I love that song. Unwritten law. <laughs> Someone was creating drama for you because you kept because you were evolving and they felt like you were um, doing better than them or something. We have refusing to see positives in one's own life. Yeah, someone here is a fucking victim, dude. Somebody's daddy knows. We got father knows. Your daddy knows something. Your baby father knows something about this situation. People watched you get something very cruel happen to you. They watched it. They knew. People knew. And they just stood there. This is disgusting. They all getting fucked up. We have a murder weapon found. For, so for some of you, someone here had cool intentions to do something to you with a weapon after midnight. Okay? And you could have been protected by this person or protected from this person. Someone here could be Jewish or of Jewish descent. Someone here could be... 
I don't know, something like that. We have, I know where you live. So someone here knows where you live. They paid someone to find out where you live. We have big dick energy. So someone here thinks that they're a big dog on campus. Someone here is definitely in their fucking ego. Okay? You need to know that you deserve it all. The divine is going to bless you with more than what you've asked for. Whatever you've been trying to manifest, the divine is going to bless you with 10 times more. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with a D. This could be you or someone else. You could be someone who's a very funny person, okay? Or someone here could have been laughing at your at your pain, okay? And now they go and be experiencing pain. We have 888. You are receiving divine guidance at this time. Someone here is definitely going through karma for, for um, spreading lies and rumors about you, for paying someone to watch you, okay? For, or for whatever they tried to do a year ago, they're going to be getting karma. We have 1212. A cycle has ended. <clears throat> a cycle of this person being cruel to you has ended. It says, I drive by your house. Real cute. It's disgusting. Someone's driving by your house. Who um who paid someone to watch them? Someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of a rooster could have paid someone to watch you. What a creepy creep. Paid someone to watch you. Okay, this could be like someone paid someone to like remote view you even. Or like literally stalk and watch you. Okay, we have Leo. Someone here could be a Leo that was paid to watch you. Gross. I also feel like this person could be like your handler or they were paid to be a handler of yours. Okay? Try to make sure that you're you're kept in the dark. You don't you you, you don't know too much. You um they keep a like a leash on you, a level of range. I don't know. We have pig. Someone's first middle or well, I was gonna say someone's first middle or last name. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a pig. My music stopped. five o'clock so something is definitely going to be changing and someone was really hoping or trying to prevent this change from coming in or from happening i feel like i don't know holy spirit holy angels who was paid to watch them Someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger was paid to watch you. Okay, or this is your Chinese zodiac sign. Flip it where it needs to go. Okay. Someone, somebody, somebody here could have guided someone poorly. Or they were paid to gu to misguide you. We have family. Okay, this could have been someone who is connected to your family. Okay, or your one of your family members or someone's family member was paid to watch you. Okay. Or an ex was paid to watch you. Or an ex or a family member paid someone to watch you. Someone here could be a Libra that was paid to watch you. Or someone was watching a Libra. I don't know. Flip it where it needs to go. But justice is going to be on your side because of this. Lord have mercy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my uh, cancers? What do they need to hear at this time when it comes to this situation? Listen, you're going to be protected. Someone here really is stalking you, and it's really disturbing, okay? Um, for some of you, not all y'all. Whatever they try to do didn't work. Um, this is, I don't know. Mm. What's going on? What do they need to hear? We have mental breakdown. Someone here could be going through a mental breakdown or they're going to be losing some sort of mental control that they have over themselves, okay? I also feel like this is what someone wanted to happen to you. Someone wanted you to lose your shit and it's not happening. Someone tried to do this by trying to <clears throat> destroy everything around you, everything you were working on, okay? Someone was trying to stress you out in order for your mind to be lost. Someone here wanted you to be in some sort of chaotic energy, but this was all a fantasy for them. Okay, or someone was fantasizing, like seeing you loot, like be off your bonkers, like in the middle of the street, homeless and shit. We have deserted, left out in the cold, ghosted, abandoned. This is someone who really broke your heart. Okay, this this also could have been someone here who left you at the altar, or if you are someone who's married, this could have been someone here who wanted someone to leave you, not to commit commit with you. Okay. Someone wanted people to ignore you, all right? Someone wanted you to lo lose any and all support. Someone could have been trying to tell everybody that you're crazy, you're delusional, 
okay in order for people to stop fucking with you but the thing is you're you're someone here who has egyptian bloodline like you have a you're from an egyptian bloodline okay your royalty we have the cheater it says trusting the wrong person somebody trusts the wrong person they feel like they got tricked or something they could have listened to a a, a femme fatale type of individual okay in order to like do something against you or someone cheated on you someone's a fucking cheater maybe this is someone here going around saying that you're a hussy you're loose you're this but this is someone here who's a chronic cheater you might find out there's someone here that like one of your exes they were cheating on you the whole time during your relationship that's for some of you not all y'all or or this is something you already know and this cheater wants to come back they feel upset because they feel like you're leaving them out in the cold okay somebody playing way too many games we have scammed it says being played in love betrayal tricked lost angry used so I also feel like someone here feels their karma is that they're going to meet someone who's going to trick them, who's going to make them lose out on something, someone who's going to make them feel used or portrayed in love. So there's a cheater here that's going to be cheated on. Okay, tell me more. Whoever this Don Juan type of character is. Okay, we have egg on the face. It says having to eat their words. So someone here is having to eat their words. Something here is definitely backfiring on someone. Okay, some sort of evil eye they were trying to send you, it has failed. And this person knows they need to come in and apologize to you. They feel dumb. Good, they should. Tell me more. <laughs> they should. We have the laws involved. Someone here could be experiencing some sort of legal issues because of what they were doing to you or what they did to you. It was illegal. All right. Someone here could be... Um, having legal troubles that may not even be connected to you at all this could just be karma that they're facing someone here could be getting arrested okay you might be um taking out a lawsuit on this person i'm also getting like somebody here was trying to get the law involved trying to say that you sell um your body for money or something here as well in order for you to get arrested okay or in order for you to like um have to deal with like legal court fees or something somebody's weird <sighs> energy it says lack of motivation this is someone here who's really fucking lazy this is someone here that wanted you to feel drained they wanted you to feel lost they wanted you to have a lack of faith but this is something that's happening to them now someone's having some sort of inner conflict this person can't get out of um addictions that they got or the addiction that they have to you some i don't know or somebody wanted you in this energy flip over needs to go someone's getting a taste of their own medicine is what i feel like is going on all right cancer holy spirit holy angels can you tell me what's going on here also with the cruel intentions i feel like there's like sibling incest going on or something like somebody like somebody's sibling can be a little too attached to their other sibling like something's weird something's not mm, healthy tell me more spirit we are being used for resources and clout so someone here could have been using you for resources or clout or this is what they plan on doing we have suffering from spell work done on them or they're just suffering from the spell work they try to put on you and it backfired Okay, or someone here might want to say the reason why they did something was because they had spell work on the uh, spell work done on them. I don't know. We have suffering stress related body changes. Okay, we have unemployment. It says laid off or fired. So someone here could have lost their job. Okay, because they could have broke a law. Or they overused some sort of um, power at work. They misused it and, and it, it resulted in them being fired. Tell me more. This could be someone who actually wears a suit. This could be a lawyer, okay? This could be an investigator, even maybe a cop. I don't know, somebody who has authority. Flip it where it needs to go. A judge, even. We have bad luck at gambling. So somebody took a risk and they fucked up. They failed. Someone's getting bad, bad luck for using someone. We have spell work backfired. Tell me more what's going on with my cancers. 
Okay, we have serving prison time. So someone here is going to be experiencing, um, I don't know, going to prison. Some sort of restrictions, some sort of limits. Okay. Limitations here. And they're stressed out about this. Someone knows they're going to jail. They're stressed. Or someone here could be already be locked up. We have falling in love with a... I don't know what that means. Somebody fell in love with somebody who was not to be trusted is what I feel like. We got bills, bills, bills. Someone here has a lot of things they got to pay for. A lot of karma they got to pay for. Okay. And they keep trying to ask people for help and they keep getting denied. Someone has, somebody has to pay something or someone owes somebody something. Either they owe you something, either an apology, resources, I don't know. Oh, falling in love with a friends with benefits. This could be a, someone that you had friends with benefits with or something, or, or somebody went back to someone. I don't fucking know what they had friends with benefits with. I'm... Cancer, I don't know what the hell going on. But someone definitely paid to watch it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me what's going on? Or somebody listened to a friend of theirs that they were having friends with benefits with. Maybe this person was telling the person you were with lies and rumors about you and they believed it. They were misguided. But it's like, it's common sense not to trust somebody. Never mind. People are, let me just keep going. We have vampire. It says someone is ciphering your energy for their own advantage. Okay. Or this is what someone is attempting to do. We have um, power transference. It says you have either given up your personal power or someone has taken it from you. Okay. What's this? We have targeted. It says someone thinks you hurt them and are mad and out to seek revenge. So someone here feels like you hurt them. Somebody who could have been lied to. Okay, maybe they were told that you hurt them or you were doing magic on them or something. Battery low. Did you hear that? Battery low. Okay, so somebody's energy is running low. Maybe they thought it was because of you. Maybe someone was saying you're an energy vampire. Flip it where we need to go. We got a block removing. It says whatever has holding whatever was holding you back has been or is being removed. So this is under vampire. So there's a vampire here that you could be starving out right now. They're being removed. You're starving out. You're starving out this vampire. Good. And they, they could be mad about this, that you, you, they, they need their fuel from you and you refuse to give it to them. Good. This person feels like you're doing them. They feel like you're doing them wrong for doing so. For protecting yourself. They feel like you're doing them wrong. We have theft magic it says someone is out to take something that is yours this could be love money energy etc so someone here was trying to steal something from you they didn't want you to have love they didn't want you to be prosperous they didn't want you to like be in control of your own energy now my fucking thing just died okay you being in control of your own energy will shut down somebody it's going to shut down a lot of things in someone's life. We have family curse. It says someone is using magic to place generational curses on you and your family. Because they feel like you hurt them in some way. We have candle magic. It says someone has been doing candle magic work on you. As the flame burns, their energy increases. That's what they're hoping, but it's being cut off. It's being removed. It's being blocked. It says soul tie. It says you are soul tied to someone and finding it hard to release this connection so someone you need to do a cord cutting from someone and then we have withdrawal it says you are moving on past those who have issues with you it's no longer it no longer matters to you and this is another thing why they're mad it's because you moved on Ooh. all you did was move on cancer from the past and it's causing these people to like wanting to attack you spiritually. That is ridiculous. Holy 
Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do my cancers need to hear? Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go, Canty. We have bedroom. Somebody wants to take you to the bedroom or something here. Or someone keeps thinking about, like, what you guys have done in the bedroom. Uh, someone wants to keep attached. Wants to... Okay, you could be dreaming about having sex with this person or something. This could be someone here who's trying to astral travel into your dream state. Please pray before you go to sleep against someone trying to get into your dreams. Okay? Th this person wants to have a moment of intimacy in intimacy with you. They want to spend some sort of alone time with you. Um, this person has cruel intentions for you. Don't sleep with this person, please. Okay? This might be happening within the one, one to three months. Someone here is going to be trying to astral travel or trying to sleep with you. Okay. We have roundabout. This is someone here who wants to come in and put you back in a cycle. Okay. They want to put you in the wrong direction. I'm also getting there's something here about like you are being released from something here in the perfect time. All right. You're being asked to continue to work hard, stay devoted to what you got going on. Okay. Your efforts are going to be um, rewarded. We have person of water. This is you. Okay. You could be a healer, a counselor, an advisor, an author. Okay. You could be someone who's very psychic. You're very intuitive. Okay. Or your, your um, intuition is going to be heightened within the next one to three months here. Okay, or you really need to pay attention to your intuition at this time. Okay, especially when it comes to like your surroundings or when it comes to like the information you give out to people. We have gavel here. Someone's going to be getting convicted of something or you, you might need to use your intuition um, in order to make some sort of decision here. All right, be careful. Look over something before you accept Okay, or someone here could be experiencing some sort of legal issues, or someone here might be getting court ordered to go somewhere or do something, or someone here is going to be getting judged. There could be a whole community getting judged, okay, a whole family getting judged. Flip it where it needs to go. We got Pearl here. Yeah, please use your wisdom about who you sleep with or who you let into your bedroom or who you let into your life, really. Okay, it's okay to be alone. Maybe you need to start um, appreciating your own company or something. That's for some of you, not all y'all. All right. I also feel like there's going to be some sort of hidden things when it comes to um, what someone does in the bedroom. That's also going to be something that's going to be revealed or, or, or I don't know, something like that. Tell me more. Or maybe that's what someone doesn't want to have revealed. All right. You could be, okay, listen, your intuition is going to become even more powerful in the next one to three months. Okay, Cancer? All right. Or, you, or you're going to be able to strengthen your um, discernment even more. OK, than what it is now that you're going to be mastering something. OK, whatever it is, it looks fucking beautiful. OK, and then we have I don't even know how to pronounce this. It says unconditional love, romance, soulmates, uncommon bond. You and another you're going to have I don't know. You're about to have uh, you're going to you're about to experience a lot of love here. OK, but there's something here about um, letting something go first you're about to experience a very stress-free um, chapter in your life, something that's going to be very high vibe, very joyful. You're probably going to meet a lot of soulmates or a lot of people that you um, share like-minded. <sighs> you guys are like-minded. Like wow, my mouth. Someone, yeah, that's what's going to be happening. Okay, Cancer? I'm going to wrap this up. I got to go. I got to go. What do they need to hear, Spirit? What do they need to hear? Okay, so we have sit in silence for a moment and listen. The answers you have been seeking are finally coming to you. Truly trust and believe that you are going to make it and be exactly where you need to be. We are on this journey with you. Hang in there. It's not much longer. So there's a cycle here that's closing up. You're just being asked to relax at this time, okay? And listen to the guidance that you're going to, um, the next steps of what you need to take, okay, by going within, because you'll find the answers there. It says, when a door doesn't open, don't waste your energy trying to make it open. It's closed for a reason. It says, you are being redirected to something far bigger and better. Endings are part of the cycle of life. 
they make way for wonderful new beginnings and opportunities. So you got something new coming in and you need to embrace the new, okay? Accept what's dying and, and focus on what's growing. We have, if your mindset is fixed, try to free yourself from that and rise above it. Don't place limitations on what you think you can achieve. It says, don't stand in your own way. Allow yourself to flourish in all ways. Welcome abundance in all forms into your life, Cancer. Okay, welcome it. Welcome that abundance. It is coming to you. Okay, Cancer. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's get one more and then we're going to bounce. Cancer, Cancer. We got 0220. It says, act on your idea. It says, you have the benefit of good fortune. And if you use your wise judgment, you can do anything. In this place, you can reach new heights. You should act on your potential when you see this pattern since what your plant what your plant will grow. It says you're about to experience a spectacular event. Ooh. Or ascent. We have two, two, two. We have alignment. It says, how do you move forward towards your life's true calling? It says, do what makes you happy. Your enthusiasm is what is what keeps you going. It says, follow your interest if it's procured by something. Following these roots um, will help you discover your life's purpose. You're in alignment to discover your life's purpose or what you're supposed to be doing here on this earth. We got 0110. It says, go after what you want. It says, you're blessed with talents and skills that make it easy for you to stand out from the crowd. Embrace what makes you different. That's your path to success. Your dreams will soon come true. All right, Cancer. Listen, this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.